Hi there. I'm William Mack coming from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. When you're searching for an inductor, one of the first parameters you need to check besides inductance is the current rating. This table is from our MECCOM MPX series datasheet. And here you can see that there are three current ratings. In this video, we're going to focus on the first one, the RMS current rating. Before we jump into that, let's do a brief review of inductor construction. This is how our MPX inductors are built, but all inductors are based on the principle of a coiled conductor. This conductor has a DC resistance, and this resistance causes the coil to heat up whenever current is flowing through it. This self-heating is what we use to determine the rated current, and we define the RMS rated current as the current that produces a temperature rise of 40 Kelvin with an ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, or 298.15 Kelvin for you purists out there. Now, let's go over to the bench and heat things up. All right, so I have a 3.3 microhenry inductor here. We have our power supply set to close current mode. So we have a set so that we make sure that voltage does not have a big factor in uh, the rating of the inductor. So we're gonna apply nine amps to this inductor. This inductor is rated for a RMS current rating of 8.9. So we should see this heat up to 40 degrees Celsius above ambient. So let's switch over to our thermal image and turn on our power supply. And we can see the inductor slowly or quickly start to heat up. All right, so now we can finally see that the inductor temperature has finally stabilized and you can see that it's roughly 40 degrees Celsius higher than ambient, which you can see as 23.2 degrees. And the inductor is measuring around 64.8 to 66 fluctuating. So we had to change the power supply a little bit. So now it's measuring at 8.9 amps, which is what the rating is. So this kind of shows the correlation between rated current of an inductor and how much current you apply to it. So why does the rated current matter? It tells you how much current the inductor can handle for a given temperature rise due to self-heating. This is important because the operating temperature range of the inductor includes self-heating. Now let's say you're operating in a 125 degree Celsius ambient environment and your inductor is rated for 155 degrees Celsius. If you operate at the full current rating of the inductor, you can expect the inductor to be at 165 degrees Celsius, which can result in damage or failure. And that is why the rated current of an inductor matters. And you should always operate below it. For more information on inductors and their current ratings, visit our newly redesigned Engineering Center website and search for Magnetic Materials. You can also join our conversations by following us on our social media platforms. Coming to you from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I'm William Mack, and remember to stay curious. <laughs>